Well, hello there, traders and investors. I'm L.A. Little, and this is your daily Neo TA wrap, where we take a look at these markets. And we do it from a neoclassical perspective. It means we're looking at supply and demand on the charts. We're using that information to make informed decisions about how to trade our portfolios, how to trade your portfolio. Supply and demand, folks, on the charts, that's what we do. If you are interested in what we do, and I do talk about this from time to time, and I'm sorry, but I have to, you can shoot me an email, and I will talk to you about it and tell you exactly what we do, how I hold your hand personally to get started so that you make the most out of the site. We don't treat you like a number. We treat you like a person here at TA Today. Got a lot of good programs, a mentoring program where we actually uh, spend a lot of time with you on an as-needed basis over as long as it takes to teach you how to trade neoclassically. It's a better way, folks. Uh, if you're interested in really learning how to take care of your own portfolio, portfolios, uh, then uh, uh, give us a ring. As far as these markets, uh, today was the bounce day. Uh, we looked at the numbers uh, last night, said we'd probably get a bounce today. That's what we got. We pop up here, uh, the NDX actually did finish down, as did the S&P, but intraday you had a pretty good bounce you could have sold into if you wanted to, if that's what you were trading, uh, was that bounce play from last night. Europe had a nice day up. Uh, we had a weak close based on news, uh, supposedly uh, based on news out of Washington on a no vote tonight on the, um, uh, no vote taking place, I should say, tonight on the health care plan, and I guess they're going to try it again tomorrow. Russell had a good strong day. It was up 1% at one point. By the end of the day, it was only up a half. Silver, gold, um, you know, not a lot there. Oil was down again. So what's what's the deal here? What's going on? Let's look at the charts. Started here with the S&P 500. Now, you know, last night I was talking about it's not a great signal, but it's a pretty good signal. After you have a faster move down, right, you get under, back over, Right, that gives you a pretty good chance for a bounce day the next day, and that's what we got. It's not the highest probability trade, but it's not a bad trade. Well, what happens tonight? Tonight you go over, back under, and you got less volume. That says it's going to try and trade the other way tomorrow. Right, that's the read. That's what you have to expect. That's the expected case. Now, if you do this, and actually let's show you, if you actually do this, in other words, we do trade down, if we go over here, draw the ABCD structure, and just assume that's as high as we get, you can see that's going to take you back into this bullish retest regen around 2300. That's the target if this area breaks tomorrow. And so that's the setup. Remember I was talking about a range would we have a range up here now, or would we expand it down into this area? Looks like they're going to try and expand it based on the read from tonight. If we look at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ has the same case over, back, under, right? Same setup, same sort of ABCD structure that would pull it back into its retest regenerate zone. The NDX, now the NDX had been the strongest one. Looks like it's losing a little gusto here over, back under, less volume, right, setting up an ABCD potential to the downside. And guess what? The one that didn't do the bounce yesterday or didn't do the under over yesterday is the one that gets over and stays over today, and that's the Russell. So we still don't have congruency across all the indexes. The Russell saying, hey, it can try to go higher again. That's the setup on the indexes. If we move over to the sectors, now last night, as I told you, most of these sectors were showing you bounces. So if we look at like the strongest one, the socks, socks got under, back over, less volume, right? Less volume here, under it, back over it. What does it do today? Over, back under, less volume. Again, potential for setup to go the other way. And if you go through almost any of these tonight, you're going to see the same thing on all of them. So the bottom line here is this market is set up for whatever reason, and maybe it's you know a healthcare vote, maybe it's you know God knows what. Uh, maybe today you know I, I I don't want to try to mix in the news and guess what it is and why it's going to do whatever it's going to do. 
all I can do is look at the charts and say the charts are telling me this market's going to try to trade lower. Now, how much lower is a different question. Maybe you go down, you test that low again, you hold it. Right? It doesn't have to break it. But that's the read tonight. Now, the other piece of the equation is you always got to remember what your trend is, right? Because your trend is your friend. Now, all the way up, this has been a strong trend. This particular trend, at least on the XLK, is still holding. It's still bullish. If you pull over, and with, I'll go back to the indexes here. If you pull over the indexes and take a look at those guys, and let me get the, uh, uh, where is S&P? We'll just use the S&P. It doesn't matter which one, really. If we take this trend, this trend went to bearish. In other words, it had been bullish all this way up. So we had been, you know, we had turned bullish way back here. Here was a sideways, there was a bullish, reaffirm bullish, reaffirm, reaffirm, all the way, right? All the way up. When we get up here, this is the first time we had a trend change. That was very extended at that point. Now we've got an angle of ascent. You, know, you hear me talk about angle of ascent. We've got an angle of ascent that's reasonable now. Matter of fact, if we trade back into here, it's probably going to be a really good buy because the angle of ascent, actually if I go down to here, that's your angle of ascent really. Let me clean that up, sorry. If you trade back down to this area, right, then your angle of ascent is going to look very different, right? It's going to be way down here. And you're going to be doing a first test of a bullish retest region, which is a very high probability buy. That whole setup now, the trend is your friend. When I'm looking at it from here, hey, trend's not up anymore. But, you know, you got to think about all your time frames. And on T8 today, we always keep all three time frames up. The monthly is definitely bullish, has been for years now, right? And if we go here on the weekly, we actually have a bullish trend too. It was sideways there, went bullish here, and has been bullish ever since. Angle of ascent, pretty steep, still pretty steep. 2300, right into that area, right? That would be the bullish retest region on the daily. That's right into this. You know, a lot of people draw trend lines, a lot, of, you know, but I, I'm looking at angle of ascent. That doesn't look too bad. There is kind of support here in this 2280, 2300 area on the weekly, right? But you don't even get back to a bullish retest on this until 2200. So if we were really to do the worst case, right, we'd find ourselves way down here and still be bullish, folks. That's the way this thing is set up. Um, I, I don't discount that this thing can trade lower but you know you got to lean long and if it goes lower you just got to buy some more is the way it's set up for you i promised you i'd start trying to take a look at some of these um, indexes and so if i pull over and i'm just pulling over the ta today site here um, so i'm on the site and what, one of the things we can do here easily is i've got a lot of list right and one of them i have is gold and since things are trying to go down let's go look at the gold stocks so if I pop into gold stocks, I have a bunch of gold stocks just entered in here. One of the nice things we can do is we can change our tool when we go to stock monitor. That will go look at these gold stocks and tell us anything that's a newly issued stock monitoring trend that took place tonight. It's already updated. Uh, AU, AUY, both of these are, are retraces. This is a bearish, this is a bullish. If we go to yesterday's though, there's actually some bearish there, and I believe there's some bullish down here. Yeah, here's a bullish one. So, like, let's look at ABX. Oh, that's a bullish retrace. That's not the one I was thinking. It still doesn't look like a bad chart, but let me go to, uh, let me see here. Here we go. Here's a potential bullish breakout. Let's see what these look like. So, this is AUX. So, I look at AUX. And so what is it talking about? It's telling you that this stock is within the ATR of a breakout. And if you're the old school, right, you're probably looking at this and saying, oh, that's like a cup and handle, and it is, right? You can break over this area, you take the bottom, you take the top, and you extend it. it takes you right back on Neo Classic into the bar that you would expect to try to get into. The key thing here, though, is it's doing a bullish potential bullish breakout if you do over you know do get over that you can get an extension the other thing about this though that's negative if i'm looking at this chart 
is these are bearish retest regenerates. They have not been tested. And remember how I just told you over there that if you were to test this, in other words, if we were to come into this area, it's a high probability that it's going to get into it about a third of the way and then roll around and try to go back the other way. And so your bullish cup and handle, if you're old school, may not actually work here. Something to give you something to chew on. That's that one. Let's look at another one, FNV. Now, this has been a favorite of mine for years. And this one actually has the same sort of old school. If you look at it, it's got the old school bullish cup and handle kind of thing going on, right? But neoclassically, what does it have? Well, it's actually kind of interesting because look at this. Here's your swing point high. That's the attempt to break it. Did not break it. What was the high there? Volume was here on the high. Take that back. This high's volume is down here. And what did it hit it with? Hit it, hit it with uh, one, two, three. It's this one here. Hit it with the volume on this one. So you can see volume increasing. Volume actually, as it got over and back down, was increasing as well, right? And today was an under over right potential ABCD structure to boot right so here's the push there's the retrace potential ABCD structure take it all the way back to the highs this one looks pretty good on this time frame what you want to do is also look at the other time frames how do they look actually there's your old, old school cup and handle here on the weekly as well and that one doesn't look bad and let's look at the monthly because you got to look at all of them and that doesn't look bad either, folks. I mean, look at the way this one's set up. What do you got going here? You got an ABCD structure pullback, right? Now the attempt to go higher, right? So that doesn't look bad. So I, I kind of like the way this looks. And matter of fact, if we draw this a little bit farther, here was the breakout. Uh, that was the retest, regenerate, bullish, tested, full retest, right? Couldn't break it down. What does it do? It couldn't break it down. What are you comparing? You're comparing your, your volumes on the bars here. Of course, this is part of it. This is part of it as well. You're, you're looking at all three of those. You're trying to break them down. Can't break it down. This thing looks like it's going to try and regenerate higher. I like FNB if I'm looking at gold stocks and looking for something to do. Folks, have yourself a great one. If you really are interested in learning how to trade using these great tools that we have, Drop me a message. I'd be glad to talk to you about how it works and how you could get started. Personally, we'll train you to start with, folks. Get, get going on it. Have a great night. Tomorrow is the day. Uh, we'll see. It's the end of the week. There's some important end of week numbers out here. You want to see if this market can trade higher or not end of week, or does it break down some of these swing point lows, for example, like on the Russell. Take care, folks. Good night.